Welcome to Daphne Hearing. I am Emily and in today's video we are going to talk about hearing loss. More specifically, how hearing loss occurs. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I'm going to specify what type of hearing loss I have, how severe it is, and really how my hearing loss came to be. So before we dive in, let's understand the anatomy of the ear, specifically the three complex parts. Now I'm just breaking these down so they're simple and easy to understand. The outer ear, the middle ear, and inner ear. So the outer ear exists of the visible part of the ear, the pinna and the ear canal. As you can see, the pinna holds my hearing aid up and the ear canal is where my ear mold sits in. The primary function of the outer ear is to collect sound waves and push them into the middle ear. So the sound enters the pinna into the ear canal and then it goes into the eardrum and the three small bones called the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. There are some medical terms for these bones, which are also named the malus, incus, and stapes. When the eardrum vibrates, it pushes these bones. They work together to amplify the sound and push it into the inner ear. The inner ear is beyond these bones. So these bones send the sound, the amplified sound, to the cochlea, which is the inner ear. The cochlea is a spiral-shaped, fluid-filled structure that essentially turns this sound, these waves, into electric pulses to send the sound messages to our brain. These electrical pulses are sent to our brain via the auditory nerve, and so the sound waves are converted to electric pulses, which goes on our auditory nerve to our brain. So the sound is converted to electric waves, which our brain understands or interprets as sound. Isn't that incredible that our ear, our body can do that? I think that's absolutely incredible. So now that we understand the basic structure of the ear, let's talk about the two different types of hearing loss. These two different types of hearing loss are conductive and sensory neural. Conductive hearing losses typically have to do with the outer and middle ear. Conductive, it really means like structural losses. So it could be due to uh, deformation of the ear. It could be the non-existence of say, an ear canal. It could be due to earwax, eardrum perforation, maybe the little bones in the ear didn't form correctly, but essentially conductive hearing loss just means that there is something obstructing the flow of sound from the outer, middle, and into the inner ear. Now, the second type of hearing loss is called sensory neural hearing loss. This means that there is something that's obstructing sound in the inner ear between the inner ear and essentially the brain connection on the auditory nerve. Sensory neural hearing loss can be due to aging. Sensory neural hearing loss can be due to aging, genetic factors, loud noises, head trauma, side effects of medications or certain diseases such as Meniere's disease. A sensory neural hearing loss means that there's something wrong with the body or ear's ability to convert sound waves to electric pulses so that the brain can understand what is being heard. I will say that though there are two types of hearing loss, sometimes there can be a mix of problems which causes the hearing loss. So for example, if there's a deformation of the pinna and there's an issue with auditory nerve that could be called a mixed hearing loss, a mix of conductive and sensory neural hearing loss. If you feel like you or a loved one is experiencing hearing loss, regardless of the type of hearing loss you think you could be experiencing, it is best to go visit a licensed audiologist to have them assess your hearing and give you a proper diagnosis. Early detection and intervention are crucial with all types of health problems and especially with hearing loss. Because if you notice that hearing is disappearing, whether in yourself or a loved one, the sooner that you get a medical diagnosis for it, the better you can offer a solution, hopefully. Hearing loss isn't curable, but if you have earwax buildup and that can be removed, then you can hear like normal again, if that's the problem. Or if you are experiencing age-induced hearing loss, there are other solutions such as hearing aids, or potentially cochlear implants for those with more severe losses. But the bottom line is, if you're experiencing hearing loss, go get it diagnosed. Figure out what your options are so that if you would like to treat it, you can. 
I will also say that many studies have found great benefits in addressing especially age-induced hearing loss because sound of the brain keeps the brain sharp in terms of keeping you social. You're less likely to have dementia and Alzheimer's or to lose your memory because as you are constantly receiving sound to your brain, it is keeping your auditory and lingual muscles, I guess, like an abbreviation or analogy, moving. And so if you keep your brain moving and active, it's likely to stay active. Where if you can't hear well and you don't address the problem in a timely manner, then you could possibly lose your ability to hear social cues or respond accordingly and address situations because you can't hear. Remember, if you are experiencing hearing loss, you are not alone. I have hearing loss myself. So thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I just want to share a little bit about my hearing loss, like I said I would earlier in this video. So my hearing loss is sensory neural. This means that my inner ear, my cochlea, has trouble converting the sound waves into electric pulses to send it to my brain. So there's something wrong, specifically genetically, in my inner ear and on my auditory neural pathway uh, that prevents that sound from moving properly to my brain. Therefore, um, what I have is I have a hearing aid. Hearing aid amplifies sound in kind of a smart way, and so it boosts the sound because my sound just doesn't get amplified properly through my cochlea and to the auditory neural pathway to my brain. So this is extremely helpful because it makes up for that loss and I'm able to better understand what's going on in the world around me. Now a hearing aid isn't like a cure-all solution, but it is extremely beneficial and I can communicate and talk and be socially in tune because of my hearing aids. Without my hearing aids, I'm like very, very hard of hearing and a lot of people don't realize how hard of hearing I am. If you have any questions for me about hearing loss, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any video requests, I would love to hear them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great hearing loss related videos for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.